in this demo, I'm gonna try to do a quick overview of the user fields feature. So to get to the user fields, you're gonna to go to your settings in Paid Memberships Pro, and there's a new link here next to email templates called user fields, you select that. Um, now what user fields does, it allows you to create a group of fields. For this example, I'm just going to do one on the front end just to give you a quick overview of how it looks. Uh, so we're going to create a, a group. Um, now this group, we could say billing information as an example. So that's going to be the heading of the group. Um, then the options are show fields at checkout. Yes, I want to show the fields at checkout. Show it on the profile page. Yes, it's only showed for admins. I'm not going to select any of the membership levels just to show for all checkouts for this example, but if you select the level here, it's going to show for only that level. Um, okay, so that group is created like the containing elements, the groups of containing elements. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add field. Uh, now we can do things like company. So this is the, the label that's shown on the front end. Uh, I'm just going to tab through. Uh, this is the meta key, the name of the field. Um, so it only allows underscores and no spaces and no special characters. Um, now I get to choose the field type. So I can do text, checkbox, radio select, file, number, date, read only or hidden. Um, I can make this field required on checkout. Is it read only? No. Hint, uh, this is just a little description underneath the field. I'll say your company, uh, your company's name. And then another option for the field is show field on user profile setting. And this you can set it to yes, yes, admins only or no. Um, and then you have the option to add custom HTML classes to the specific fields. Um, all right, so let me go to my levels page. I'm just gonna go like this because this might be a bit quicker. I'm gonna select my level and there you go.